So, we have shown our poetry to Natsuke. Who should we do next? How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. So, got a couple options here. You know, that's totally two. Okay, we got a few options. I'm just gonna go down the line, go from Natsuki, Sayori, Yuri, and Monica. We'll just go in that order. You okay, Sayori? Oh my god, that! This is so good, Pink Pot! Eh? Uh. I love it! Sayori, are you okay? You must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. Screw you, I won't say that about myself. I actually think I'm good at creating stuff like that. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Apparently I'm also a girl. Welcome to the episode. Welcome aboard the nostalgia train where the conductor never knows what he's doing. <laughs> I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> oh boy. Jeez. Sure Yuri's opinion has to be a little more constructive than this. Sure, you don't like it just because I wrote it. I wrote it. Yeah? Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know? So when I read your poem, it's not just. Okay. I can see the mindset behind that. That makes sense. It's a pink fox poem! Oh, jeez. Once Pink, once Amber watches this, she'll be like, of course. Of course. <laughs> Actually, I have no idea how she'll respond. And that makes it feel extra special. Like, I can feel your feelings in it. That's weird. But at the same time, makes sense. It's weird to think about. Sayori hugs the sheet against her chest. The only one allowed to do that for Pink Fox is me. You're so weird, Sayori. <laughs> I'm really happy just you that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Pink Fox. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Try new things like this for other people. That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. Not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? Wait, did I just say that out loud? That will be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm going to hold you to that then. We'll see about that. Dear Sunshine, 
The way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub my the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above. The sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. I'm not mad. I want breakfast! I was gonna, I was about to say that is actually really well put through. That was a really well done poem. But then you said that. Then you said that. Then you said freaking that. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> Just fl fling my hair to the side, that is. Uh, Sayori, Sayori, Sayori. I love you, you know that. Sayori, this is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? No! Just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. Dude, yes you can, it means yes. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little bit better about myself. Don't be mean! I still try my best. It was actually really well put through. For a last minute poem, that was actually really well done. Aside from the I want breakfast part. Remove that and that really good poem, actually. Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice. Or, how should I put it? I'm not reading the next part. That actually came out really well. You remove that last bit, and it's, again, a really well put, real, real, really well thought through poem. It sounds just like you. Okay, as someone who's played this before, that's true. But, the way she's interpreted by now, no one should be able to think that. Then again, Pink Fox has known her, or whatever this character's name actually would be. This person has known her for a very, very, very long time, so. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. Ha! <laughs> okay, never mind. Never mind, of course he's of course my character's making fun of her. I need eggs and toast. Oh, good for you. Do you want a pat on the head? Maybe a cookie? I'm still in the line for my fiance, but do you want a cookie? <laughs> Would that help? Actually, who am I kidding? She would want a cookie. Even though you were late to school. It's bad to skip breakfast! Really? Because, you know what? You guys already heard about this. Watch the previous video. I get a little cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. How many times have I said that about a woman? You know, a good woman. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this is so much fun! Sayori, in the mindset of not playing this game, you make me think of Cat from Victorious. Anybody out there who has seen that show, who is watching this, who 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 sees it? Who sees it? And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Oh boy, you're starting to sound like Monica with that tone. Oh, I guess I look forward to it. Who should I show my poem to next? How about Yuri? Let's get the disappointment done with. Look at that thing! Call it. That right there, that, 
like that expression, that, that is the expression of disappointment. I don't know how I feel about this. Um, I mean, Yuri, c come on, Yuri. I, I mean, y Yuri, get, let's just, I, I don't even know how to say this. Hmm. That expression, man. That is the expression of a disappointed woman. If you ever get an expression like this from a woman, you know you've done wrong. Oh my gosh. I don't know how to feel about this. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes. More than enough time for her to finish reading. Um. Oh, sorry. I forgot to start speaking. What? <laughs> uh, um, it's fine. Don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just, I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after, that it might be after reading through it. Ah, oh, so it's that bad. No. Did I just raise my voice? Uh, I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. Of the three of them, I like Yuri the best, if I'm being honest. When it comes to maturity, but still... Sheesh. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes, and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine. I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right. Um. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. You know what? That's actually that. I can understand that. I've met people who have been able to do that before. My sister, for example, actually. It's been a while, but I kn when I started writing, she could kind of pick up on the kind of things where it's like, you're new to this, aren't you, kind of thing. Because I was. She helped me with the first thing that I tried doing. Epic fail in the long run, but still. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. Yeah, some people can actually make that work. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter. And they form fit the two together. Okay, guilty as charged. That actually was me. I'm not, not... What I said about my sister, I wasn't kidding. This is true as well. That actually happened with me. I tried to mix, like... Oh, what was it... Like, fantasy fiction, I tried to mix that genre with sci-fi. That is not the style that works for me. At all. Fiction? Big yes. That one, fantasy specific fiction. That has always worked for me, and it's something else. But anyway, I digress. We should focus on this story, rather than a story that I'm not even writing at the moment. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness... A weekend. Yeah, you have to be able to do it really well for that to work. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing 
even a simple call. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. When it comes to poems, I don't mix genres. I choose one specific thing and stick with it, and it's worked for me very well. Stories, on the other hand, she's right. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example, and trying new things. Again, she's not wrong. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased, though. I've played your route, so can you. Biased? How? Uh, um... Well... Never mind. She's saying never mind because she's the same way. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. You know what, I'll, I'll let you go just because you're able to say something like that and pinpoint, hey, I shouldn't be doing this. At least you're willing to go about that path. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Oh boy. I don't know if I'm ready for that, but okay. Sure, why not? Yuri smiles dreamily, as if that's a rare opportunity for her. I mean, think about it. She has stage fright, of course it is. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Ghost Under the Light. Tendrils of my hair, the tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Maybe it must be this one, the last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time, the last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe calming. I bathe. Calm. Breathing air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. That was actually really well done. I I'm sorry. I have such terrible handwriting. Then how was I able to read the whole thing? I know someone who has worse. <laughs> Few people, actually. I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. It did not! It took me like, I was looking at my clock, it took me like 10 seconds. 10 to 20 seconds. Okay, I wasn't paying full attention, but I still had 18 minutes at the time I started. Uh, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? That's a relief. She's blushing. Of course she's blushing. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Oh my god. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more... mild. Fair enough. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? The paranormal? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Pink Fox. Really? It's metaphorical, but I don't remember what about. I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only get glad over it, after all. But remember, bad poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and expression experiences in their work. 
this is true. For me, it's more the experiences than the thoughts and feelings, but at the same time, it really depends on when I write it. They usually do more than tell a simple story. Or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her past. Last? I can't speak right now. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort. Unable to let it go of the past. I wasn't too far off. Wasn't too far off. I'm getting a notification from freaking YouTube suddenly. Go away. And soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot. That's a lot more solemn. Putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. It's impressive. It's nothing, really. Uh, that's impressive, Yuri. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Part of the pauses is just people going about in the hollow building I live in, trying to make sure that it sounds not as heard. Just remember that it won't be long before you go- Oh, I just read that. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Okay. Who should I show my poem to next? At this rate, we're only going to be showing poems and they'll be done. I've only got Monica. Hi, people! Oh, jeez. Stereotype, here we come. <laughs> Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Okay. I'll, 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 I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring the... That is me. See, okay, you know what? Apparently the conductor is a girl because he can't get the voices right. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just... Going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I get. Oh my God! See, I can't get it right. Pink fox is a she. IRL. Yes. <sighs> Maybe that's why. I I've got the vocal curse right now. It's kind of embarrassing, but. I guess I have to. And that doesn't help. Don't worry, Pink Fox. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. I don't trust you. But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. True, but, uh... uh... You know what, never mind. Here, here's the poem, apparently. Mm -hmm. I like it, Pink Fox. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. I don't have...
have many voices for women, okay? Shut up. This sounds like Sayori, I know. <laughs> oh, jeez. No, no! It kind of makes me think of something Natsuki would write. She's a good writer, too. So take that as a compliment. I don't know if I wanna. <laughs> Can I go home now? You say so. Yep. There are lots of poems and stories out there that are no more than a few simple words. They can be funny, endearing, or even sad. And sometimes, they're only a few lines long. They might even feel like they're written for kids. But if you think about them, they can express views of the world that would apply to anybody. Why are you thinking like Natsuki now? I see. So you're saying that Natsuki is kind of like that. Sort of. Maybe she's not an expert. But you probably won't find much filler in her poems. They might be easy to write, but they're super challenging to get the meaning through. Fair enough. Yeah, fair point. So I can see why it would be your kind of poem to explore. Eh, uh, I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. I'm getting a message from Discord. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. Okay. That's okay. Okay. Oh, don't worry, you will, since we're helping everyone. I'm being so silent today. Maybe it's because I'm so worried that I'm just going to... mess up the voices again. This is what happens when you got vocal curse. Everyone else might be a little bit biased toward their own kinds of style, but I'll always hope you find what suits you the most. Look, Monica, I know you're trying to hit on me. Stop it. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Monica. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, we're all very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I had to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction the spackle protrudes? A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, can't see. I reel. Blind. Like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas. Already scorched. With a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now. But I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. Interesting. So, what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform. That's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, the kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. Uh, yeah, duh, that's true. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. Okay, yeah, I know. 
I've written poems, I know that. When performed like that, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. Okay, you know what? I'm annoyed. Put it something or leave it be. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. Okay, yeah, that's true. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. Okay, yeah. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening! <sighs> Are we done? Guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice. There's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. I sigh. <sighs> I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chattering. Chatting. Both work, actually. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. Oh no. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri's smile saddens. What's with this language? Huh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you should say it's fancy. Oh, thanks. This is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? Most people can with short poems like that. It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Huh? You mean you have to try and that hard to come up with something nice to say? You two don't give up. I back it up. Look, back. Sketch. Sketch. No. We don't need this. Ugh. Thanks. But it really didn't come out nice at all. Um. Well, I do have a couple of suggestions. <laughs> oh, boy. This, this right here, this looks like a battle. You remove that. Wait, how do you remove that? There, that's what I was trying to do. This, on its own. That looks like a battle waiting to happen. <sighs> anyway. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it. And Pink Fox did too. So based on that, 
I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me. Oh boy. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I didn't expect to change. I don't expect it to change anytime soon. Unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. <clears throat> and Pink Fox liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh? I didn't realize he was so invested in trying to impress a new member, Yuri. You're not helping your case, Natsuki. Uh? That's not what I... Oh boy. Um... Uh, you were just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you were just jealous that Pink Fox appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? Uh, no. I was full of myself. I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um. Is everything okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one who. Boos magically grew his size bigger as soon as Pink Fox started showing up. Whoa, okay, nobody needed to... <sighs> Natsuki? Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't... Okay. I don't like fighting guys! Suddenly, both girls turned towards me, as if they just noticed I was standing there. Pink Fox, she... She's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started- Ah, oh, for the love of- How old are you guys? She could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective. Then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the- Okay, you two have opposite- Writing styles, stop. Well, I guess you can't stop. It's already written and set in stone. Not force them to have to figure it out. Let me explain that to your thing. Uh, well, wait. There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Big Fox? Uh, do I have to be brought into this? Well? <sighs> How did I get dragged into this in the first place? Not like I know anything about writing. Whoever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. So, Natsuki. Um... Yuri? You're really talented. Uh, well... But, Natsuki has a point. I think that... I rack my brain in an attempt to back myself up. I think that conveying feelings with few words can be just as impressive as well. It lets the reader's imagination take over. And Natsuki's poem did a really good job at that. Yeah! It did, didn't it? <laughs> so is how, you, how much you know. That's not... Natsuki... I think that's enough. Huh? Me? She was so mean to me. Natsuki's voice whines. Look, what we talked about yesterday was writing. Writing is about a really personal thing. And sharing it can def definitely be hard. Looks like we learned that today. 
Even small criticism can lead to something pretty heated. Now, where have I thought that before? I had thought that a lot in my life, actually. I glance over my shoulder. Sayori is nodding vigorously. Yeah, so... You don't need to feel threatened. You're a great writer, Natsuki. <laughs> Natsuki's voice gets caught in surprise. Thanks for noticing. He finally mutters that, barely audible. Yuri? Yuri looks at me dejectedly. With a face like that, I can't help but feel bad for her as well. I'm sure that Natsuki didn't mean everything she said. You don't need to feel threatened either. Well, if you say so. Hey! It's not like you need to apologize for me, Pink Balls. Sheesh! Welcome to poem sharing time! Today sucked! <laughs> Natsuki takes a breath. I... Think about... Uh... Natsuki, Natsuki glances around the room. I'm gonna leave this video here because I think I know what I'd end up doing next time if I left it here, so... Plus, we're at 41 minutes. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. If you liked it, push that like button and so far you can't sit anymore. And if you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Want to check out any other um, playthroughs that I've done on here that are visual novels? Click the link down there. Or if you want to check out the rest of the one, uh, the rest of this visual novel, link across my head here. In the meantime, this trains out to its next destination, but we hope to catch you guys in another ride. Bye.